I had a in the very early days, a Commodore 64. And I used to write a lot of code on that and I spent all of my spare time playing with the computer. And I will never forget the day that my wife came home from work and I had it apart with a soldering iron in my hand. You can imagine the response, what, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> These days, what compels Regents Professor Michael Marcelin is digital communication, data storage, signal processing, and the latest development in image compression, JPEG 2000. JPEG stands for the Joint Photographic Experts Group, okay. a collection of uh, nerdy people from all over the globe. The JPEG 2000 standard will change the look and delivery of media everywhere. Marcelin is a key contributor to that technology. But, yeah, let's get this working first. His interest in engineering began with the family electrical business in Bishop, California. Well, I learned very early on how, how electricity works and how to wire things up, repairing refrigerators and stoves, you know, all things I learned from my father. So when it came time for college at San Diego State, then Texas A&M, wires and motors became computers and modems. He joined the University of Arizona faculty in 1988. His work has wide-ranging implications from medical imaging to the movies. JPEG 2000 can do completely exactly lossless representations of your imagery. Okay, the original JPEG necessarily introduced some loss. Uh, with JPEG 2000, you can have it both ways. Take all the photos that, that you've accumulated over your life, break that down, put it on a very small media, and be able to, to access that at any time with exceptional quality. I mean, that's what he's really contributed. For Michael, the most interesting application of JPEG 2000 is pure fun, digital cinema. It means the end of celluloid reels and the beginning of digital projection. He worked with seven Hollywood studios, so those digital movies will look as good as, or better than, movies do now. They're interested in having it look so good that nobody, even trained observers, can see the difference. That's especially noticeable in the credits if you stick around to see the credits, which I now do and I didn't used to. <laughs> Michael co-authored the definitive textbook on JPEG 2000 and helped to steer the group initiative. When we were developing JPEG 2000, there were 150 people from 16 different countries. So a lot of, uh, of large brain people. And to get those many different opinions corralled to actually get a standard adopted, is, it takes an enormous amount of leadership and an enormous amount of getting different opinions to really work collectively. You think you can implement this? Ali Bilgin was a contributor to JPEG 2000 and a former student. He's really able to understand things very quickly and make really very good recommendations about even something that he hasn't seen before. Next week, so... I, I do very little uh, research on my own that doesn't involve graduate students. And, you know, it, what keeps me in the academic field is, is it, the teaching. I really like the teaching. How do I get a density from a distribution? He kind of comes across as being very casual and fun, but when it comes down to talking technical, he is looking for exactness. Minus F, X, X, and we're done. I've crashed two airplanes. One was a mechanical failure and one was pilot error. <laughs> Sand, cut, glue. It's so different than what I do at work. But maybe just as exacting, his current passion, radio controlled planes, started with a small gift from his wife. He read one and he had this one in the mid I said, Don't you think this is kind of expensive? She said, Well, it's only $50 started laughing and said, you just wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a small car. Within a few years, he was a national champion For and an organizer of the Tucson Aerobatic Shootout. I've got a, a, a series of obsessions <laughs> my, my whole life. But nothing comes before family. I have never missed one of my children's birthdays. I have left at 10 p.m. when the birthday party was over to catch a red eye and I've caught a red eye to be home by 8 o'clock in the morning for a birthday party. With his set of skills, Michael and his family could live in Italy or Silicon Valley or even Hollywood, but he's a man who appreciates what he has. 
lot of people have been very kind to me. I have a lot of great colleagues. I've had great students. <laughs> you know, there's always room to make new contributions. You know, I'm, I'm not stopping yet. Any questions?